speaking of mom shaming, how do you deal then with that? How do you, because I guess you, you just get stronger and, you know, more, you sort of like are affirming yourself as a mother as you go, but how do you deal with that in the beginning? I think you, you have to just be honest. I cry. I cry a lot. You know, let's be honest. When you've had a baby, you're full of emotions, full of hormones. You want to spend your time crying a lot of the time anyway. Um, not everyone finds it easy. I certainly didn't. Um, so, you know, there was a lot of crying into, you know, your, your baby blanket ultimately and feeling guilty. You know, being a parent is just guilt. It's just guilt anyway. Um, and I, it was interesting because I said to my my youngest daughter before I, I spoke to you, Julie, I just said to her, you know, look, Ellis, I'm, I'm talking to somebody later about, you know, being a parent. And I just wonder what you thought about me being a parent that works full time, because I know that all, not all your friends, you know, work. They have parents that work full time. So what's good about it and what's bad about it? And she said, well, you have enough money to buy me clay because she loves these kind of clay kits. She says, but on the other hand, you just don't care about me. Oh, <laughs> said, oh. What do you mean about that? What do you mean I don't care about you? And she said, no, what I mean is you kind of just don't care for me. And so I said, well, what do you mean? She said, well, you can't always, you know, be there. You can't always kind of come to things or you can't always, um, you know, obviously we've just been home homeschooling because of, of the pandemic she says so you know if I got stuck on my math and you were on a call I would just have to say Ellis you know I'll come to you in 10 minutes I'm on a call or I just have to write her a note saying google it <laughs> um you know so she said other parents would help more and I said but you know with your learning if I wasn't there to give you the answer would you find it on google yourself or would you find it yourself and she said yes so I said well that that's good isn't it um and actually I can't do everything for you and you're very lucky because you do get a lot done for you anyway because you're the youngest child and you seem to get spoiled um Mm -hmm. but I think you know in terms of guilt you get guilt from parents you'll get guilt from your kids and you'll give yourself as much guilt it's just come to terms with the fact that you're going to be guilty and you're just going to feel rubbish about it a lot of the Mm -hmm. time but actually uh, all you've got to do is just get through there's a reality that You know, you want your children to be happy and it really doesn't matter the rest of it. Yeah, there's there's nothing else that you need to worry about. Obviously, keep them a bit healthy, give them a few bits of green veg and, Mm -hmm. you know, fruit and all of the things that you should do. But, you know, you're not going to be suddenly struck down if you give them a frozen chip or, you know, you, you order out for pizza. That is just life. No, and we all need and and children need to understand when we're struggling as well 